face. But of course, he learnt that from me. If I hadn't taught him everything I know, he'd have been up the creek without a paddle. Hey, without a paddle! <laughs> what a wit! Oh! Hello, my name is Peter and I drew round a card template lots of times to make my jigsaw picture. Then I coloured it in. Hello, my name is Mary. I had an art attack by drawing round a template card. Hello, I'm Tim. To make my picture, I made a template out of a square piece of card and I drew round it lots of times and then I coloured it in. Ah, that's a good idea, isn't it? Create your own jigsaw pattern. But first, you have to create your own jigsaw piece. And to do this, cut out a sheet of thin card, roughly 10 centimetres by 10 centimetres, and draw a very simple shape into one side. So there's a triangle into that side, and then another simple shape into one of the adjoining sides. And you can use any of the two sides as long as they are adjoining. There we are, very simple shape like that. Then cut those shapes out so you have something that looks like that. Now watch this. Move this piece to the opposite side and position it exactly opposite from where it was cut out. And you have to do that very accurately. I'm just doing it quickly here to show you. You can maybe measure it with a ruler. And do the other piece and put that onto the opposite side, exactly opposite from where it was cut out. And when you've done that, tape them into position very carefully and you have a jigsaw piece there it is and then place it onto a piece of white paper a nice big piece of white paper and just draw around your jigsaw piece to create your jigsaw pattern and round to the beginning again and there it is there's the start of your pattern and then simply move your jigsaw piece and just slot it in there like you would a jigsaw and continue with your pattern you have to be quite accurate with this, so take some care and some time doing it. But you build up just a fantastic, crazy pattern. There you go. Move your piece again and then slot it in to another section. And keep going, cover the whole of your paper, and when you're finished, you'll have something that looks like that. Look at that, a crazy jigsaw pattern. And then it's just a case of colouring in these jigsaw pieces into different colours like that and there's your jigsaw pattern and when you've done a simple jigsaw pattern maybe you can make a jigsaw piece that's slightly more complicated look at that i'll pull that out there and pop it onto the opposite side again have to be accurate and that over to the opposite side exactly opposite from where it came from and when you tape those pieces together you got a piece that looks like that look at that that's wild and that creates a jigsaw pattern like this Look at that. And then you can get really silly and make it very complicated. Look at that. And again, it was created from a square, and that creates this pattern. And I've even coloured that pattern in with coloured patterns. Try it yourself. A crazy jigsaw pattern. Welcome to the Power Age. More proof of Pearl's continued leadership in Hong Kong's English-speaking community. DVB Pearl's audience size has increased 31% of the past 12 months, putting this station far ahead of any other English-language medium in the territory. So turn on the power. DVB Pearl. Trying to tighten that tummy with back-breaking, time-taking ordinary sit-ups? Look, the abdominizer targets the proper abdominal muscles so each and every sit-up is effective. Safer, too. Get maximum benefit in minimum time. You can have a tonia tummy and waist, and best of all, it's so simple. The rocking mechanism is designed to let you rock, rock, rock your way to a firmer stomach. Look, ordinary sit-ups may torture your tailbone. It's not worth the pain. But the abdominizer is contoured to cushion and cradle your lower back and pelvis comfortably. Abdominizer is designed to produce an automatic pop and tilt which isolates the abdominal muscles and makes the exercise safer for your lower back. Plus, by maintaining the ideal lumbosacral angle, the abdominizer 
also reduces the pressure on the tailbone, allowing for greater comfort while exercising. Three-way action. Tone and tighten upper and lower abdominals plus the lateral obliques. The abdominizer curve works to firm the upper abdominals safely. Raise your knees to work the lower abdominals too. But that's not all. The slide side-to-side -side motion acts. Hello. Hey, Ian. Hey, I never knew torn paper could look so brilliant. And it's so easy. Draw your poster design, decide the colors, tear the pieces, then place them on your poster. You've got to see mine. Oh, yes. Uh, one other thing. Remember to glue them down. Oh.
and only one word to describe that. Nice. Nice picture. Nice car. Nice jacket. Nice picnic. Just nice. Do you know what? I was doodling the other day, and look what I discovered. If you scribble against the edge of your finger really quickly, when you move your finger away, it leaves this sort of straight edge. And you can use that for making pictures. See if you can guess what I'm drawing. There you go. That's not difficult, really, is it? Look at that. Around there, like that. In there. And it's good for just doing these very simple sort of cartoony pictures. There you go. Around there, like that. And a little cartoon eye in. And there it is the finger edging technique. But you can also use this technique for colouring your pictures in. Watch this. Here's a picture I've done in ink, and then it's just a case of colouring your picture in in exactly the same way, using finger edging, just scribbling or colouring in up to your finger, and just move your finger along the edges of your picture or along the edges of your lines, just scribbling really quickly, and you don't really have to be neat with this because your finger does it for you. It leaves these neat edges to your colouring in. Again, you can just do some just do some detailing there like that. Again, just scribbling against my finger. There, to the bottom of the tree in. So you can do this fine detail as well. And I find if you colour in the same direction all the way around your picture, just scribbling in in the same direction, you get a sort of old-fashioned etched effect to your picture. And it allows you to colour it in very quickly. Just going all the way up to your finger like that. Just do the sun the same way, very quickly. There. And, and there. You can even do larger areas quickly. And you don't have to be perfect with it. You just colour in all the way up to your finger. Just down the edge like that. And there it is. An old-fashioned etched effect using finger edging. And there's yet another technique I discovered. Look at this. If you do your picture in pencil first, and then you finger edge in different directions this time. Look at this. I'm just going right up to my finger in one direction, moving my finger along the line, like that. And now I'll put my finger up here now and go in a different direction. Look at this. All the way up to the top there. And move it across and do it like that. And you're sort of using your finger as a ruler, although it's not as neat, because neat can be sometimes boring, can't it? Look at that. And if you complete your picture in the same way, finger edging in different directions, you get this sort of wild effect when you rub out your pencil. Try it yourself. And listen, I've only just discovered this technique, so if you experiment and you find any good effects, let me know. Try it yourself. Finger edging. Oh, that is such a useful tip. You can use it for edging, for shading, for colouring, and probably lots more if you experiment. Hey, I've done some of that. Well, I haven't got any fingers to edge round, have I? Hello, my name's Caroline. I did this 3D relief drawing by photocopying the same picture three times and sticking cardboard in between to make it stick out. Hello, my name's Sarah. I made this picture by cutting three copies of the same design to different heights and then sticking them in front of each other. Hi, my name's Daniel and this is my 3D relief picture. 
are great pictures and what a great technique sticking little bits of cardboard between the layers as sort of wedges to create a 3d layer picture try it like this take a piece of thin card or thick paper and draw a very simple shape now i'm just going to draw a very rough balloon there and you cut your shape out and you'll have something that looks like that then use that as a template to draw around and then cut two out exactly the same now i've used different colored card there so i've got something that looks like that and then take little squares of cardboard that you've cut from a cardboard box and just put plenty of glue on them like that and then just stick one of your shapes to the middle of one of your balloons if you're doing balloons or whatever shape you're doing and then glue another cardboard shape like that a little square and glue that into position so it's two cardboard shapes thick and there you have a cardboard wedge and then do the same on the other two balloons only this time slightly offset the wedges to one side you see why in